What's up, everybody? New pod, who dis? Episode eight. What is going on? I'm Jake. I'm Jackie. I'm Joey. And I'm Steven. And we just got done finishing figuring out who is the oldest. <laughs> and it's Jackie. Oh. Okay, but only by how many days? When's your birthday? February 16th. Okay, only by 17 days? 18 days. Oh, 18. 18 days. Yeah. More or less, it doesn't make a difference. You're still the oldest. Cool, 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 cool. Which cool. makes sense because you always eye roll at our juvenility. Well, this is. That's a word. To be fair, we're all like within a year. Yeah, I mean, we're pretty much the same age and you guys are older than me. Well, who's the youngest? Steven. Steven. Yeah, because I'm yeah. Yeah, 28, October 2nd. October 2nd, 1989. This is my golden birthday. I'm turning 29 on the 29th. Oh, man. So I just what are we doing? all of our yeah, listeners what are we doing? to know. I'm like, he was, you were two. I know. Okay. And that sucks. Yeah, it does suck for you. I think we should do a live podcast for your golden birthday. I mean, we can talk about it. I think that's a good idea. It's not ideally how I'd want to spend my birthday, but it's cool. <laughs> it's, it's what's going to happen. So just remember to follow us on Instagram at new pod who this on Twitter at new pod underscore who this and on Facebook at new pod who this. And now we are on YouTube. Woo! So please go to youtube.com backslash who new pod who this um, you can find all of our episodes there and some more stuff stuff that we will upload when we make it. We are maximizing <laughs> our SEO game. Yeah. So absolutely. Watch Leave us a comment on a video. We'd love to hear from you. We made it to the tube. Mm -hmm. That's how, you know, you've made it on the YouTube. <laughs> 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 oh, and we have a more exciting announcement for this week. Keep close watch on our Instagram because we will be teasing two the final two t-shirt designs that our lovely producer Kate has created. And uh, we want to know which one you guys like the best. Yes. Yeah. So when we post them, let us know if you like one design better than the other, what you like about them, what you'd want to change, and then stay tuned for a potential chance to win one. Ooh. Yeah. I think we're definitely going to throw up a, uh, throw up a post and a little story action, a little poll. It'll be everywhere. A couple of hashtags, maybe multiple days of polls. Okay. Ooh, multiple hashtags. <laughs> but we probably shouldn't let Jackie write the posts because you've been having some trouble with your eye character. On yeah, your phone. because that thing is jacked. Something is not right. I and I'm not the only one who's having this problem. Kim Kardashian is having this problem. I've noticed from her tweets. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> thank God for BuzzFeed because they figured out how to fix it. But every time I type the I it turns it into a question mark in a box and an A. And I don't, and Steven says it's called a glyph, which I, fact, somebody fact checked that. I don't know if that, that's true. I'm pretty sure they're called glyphs. <laughs> it's, I think it's a character. Character? Because it's a, I believe it's a character I wanna, encoding issue. I want to call it a glyph because of like hieroglyphics in like, right? That's <laughs> yeah. No, definitely. But this isn't the caveman era. And <laughs> yeah. era. But and that's I, what I would see like in like, you know, a caveman who's a like, you know, like a developer. He's our emojis, the, the hieroglyphics of our time. Oh, okay. But it's not even turning it that's into deep. emoji. Here's the thing. If it was turning it, if it was changing all of my eyes into a, like the face palm, I'd be like, okay, cool. It understands me, <laughs> but it doesn't get me. It's just turning it into this weird well, question. Because you don't have the iPhone box. 10 and it can't scan your face and then it would do okay, that. Okay. Well, now you're just pointing out the fact that I don't have a thousand dollars to drop just, on a phone. I just loved it because once we figured out that you were having this problem and it was only you, yeah. Um, then it just became hilarious. And I almost wanted to see how many times I could get you to say I. <laughs> like, oh, what what, what, what character it. is it again, Jackie? That's I not working. Do it. But I will tell you, BuzzFeed posted on Instagram a way to fix it. And all you have to do is go to your keyboard and text replacement and type your phrase is the capital letter I and it, you want to replace it with a lowercase I and it's it's working. So Jackie, what iPhone do you have that is being affected? It's the iPhone seven, but it's the, new you have the iPhone seven and you're having the issue. Yeah. It's the update. It was the huh. iOS update and I have the iPhone seven plus and mm. I did not, I was not affected. It's oddly affecting like certain people. My friend Piran is the one who found it first and she was distraught and I was like, oh, that sucks for your phone and then it happened to me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, we're probably all going to get it happening to us now because we made fun of Jackie. It's like <laughs> yeah. you make fun yeah. of Seriously. someone, it happens to you. And just a <laughs> little history lesson to kibosh uh, Steven's theory on the hieroglyphic. Uh, the rhetorical question mark was actually invented by Henry Danaham in the 1580s. <laughs> wow. It was used at the end mark. of a rhetorical question. <laughs> Okay, so, but what is how is that different from a regular question mark? It oh, looks the just, same. 
Uh, I might have just ruined myself. Did you just answer his rhetorical question, Mark? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> We've gone down a weird path. Rhetorical questions. Sometimes, like, when someone says a rhetorical question, I actually answer it. And then is that different? Is rhetorical question mark different than just a regular That's question That's exactly mark? what I just asked you. Oh, like is written it, down on paper? Is it not rhetorical? <laughs> is it though? You answer it? Is it, though? Is it? <laughs> That's literally what I just asked. Nobody listens to me on this podcast. That's what I've learned. <laughs> do you know I have where, young ears. <laughs> do you know where else there was a lot of question marks? Uh, Mario Kart. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the Nintendo 64 version. I yeah. guess they all did. Yeah, just I was Mario just, in general. I was just playing Mario Kart last Friday. It was my dad's birthday and he has a Nintendo 64 that he bought off eBay and set it up. Me and my brother were just like old times, just crushing it on the Mario Kart. Yeah. So do you think the N64 that your dad bought on eBay was the one that was stolen from your apartment? Ooh! <laughs> Whoa, that'd be awful. Oh. Full circle. You should have marked it. Do you think your dad Sorry. also has no. your underwear? <laughs> <laughs> I certainly hope not. That's a that waste of money. Six pack of beer. <laughs> he actually gave me that six pack of beer. Oh, that would be full circle. Back. Wanted it back. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I want that grapefruit shandy. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Well, I have an N sixty four too, and I still play it. But the only TV it works in is the one in my bedroom, so I can play oh, it because it has by the, um, the three prongs. Yeah. It's the, the only bronze. one that, yeah. RGB? Yeah. New TVs don't come come with those anymore, I mean, my TV is like fairly new. It just happened to have the like, what is it, composite? In, yeah, I mean, yeah. composite. Um, but I have not just Mario Kart, I have Mario Party, oh, which man. was the best game ever. One, two, or like five, six, seven, eight. I don't know. There was that I many? Yeah. What? Yeah, I think they actually corresponded them with the third release of the Now Volumes. So like <laughs> yeah. now one came out Mario Party one now so we're on now Mario four. Party sixty eight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I never had the N sixty four. Like I, I, went, I went from Sega to PlayStation to the Xbox. You were never a Nintendo guy. Yeah, never Nintendo. So only time I played Nintendo was at friends' houses, and because I never played Nintendo yeah. and, and I didn't play any of the games, I sucked. I was <laughs> terrible. Like I had like my friends yelling at me like Stephen, you can't play with us anymore because. You're all you're doing is like flips in Star Fox or whatever. Like, you know, <laughs> you just suck. Or like Mario Kart, I would like, I mean, Mario Kart wasn't that, like, wasn't bad at, but it's just like, you need to practice. You need to know the courses. You need to know the courses. And I was super competitive and I really hated when my friends would cheat. Like, they knew where the cheats were, where you like jump over the wall, but it happens to go right That's to strategic, the strategic, though, isn't it? That's why you need to know the courses. But you're cheating. I mean, those graphics are so old and it looks like you've just gone off out of the TV and then all of a sudden you won the whole game. There were some of the glitches that were like skill paths. So if you could like, I remember in the island, Yoshi's Island, if you could like jump through that hole, mm. that was skill, right? Yeah. That wasn't a glitch. But then there was glitches where you just like magically hit the one pixel correctly and all of a sudden I actually hit that there. jump on Friday. I was really impressed nice. with myself. Yeah. <laughs> Is it so? I Steven, I feel for you because I I even had an N sixty four and I was still bad at it. So this is this is how a, much of an anxious kid I was. I would I couldn't play Goldeneye by myself because I was you? I was so <laughs> anxious of the people coming to shoot at me. Oh my god! That I could not play the game by myself. Okay. I, yeah, it was bad. Well, this is. I mean, we talked about VR last week, but I don't understand how you're going to put those glasses on. And no, not, now is fine. Are you sure? Just, well, I won't be alone. You guys will <laughs> <Yeah>. be there. <laughs> this is the by myself part. It's, I think that's why I was so drawn to like MMR, MMO RPGs. It was because I was always with a group and with, with other people. I, I would have rather not have anyone around me so I wouldn't have to die all the time. That's because I was <laughs> that bad at that game. But uh, now... If any of my friends played a sports game with me, see you later. I'm the I was the best. Oh, dude, Blitz, Blitz for N64. Blitz was not a real sports game. Oh, that's why it was so much fun. Oh, yeah, I agree. These are not games that I played. I had Yoshi World. <laughs> Yoshi World was tight. Yeah, it's a one player game. Like I was such a cool kid for Sega. My idea of fun was playing the tennis game on Sega. <laughs> <laughs> that's so boring. That's so boring. I don't even like playing tennis in real life. It was just life. like a step above Pong. The like, whole world of Sega games and you picked tennis. <laughs> we had tennis. We had the uh, um uh I had like an NHL game and then I had NHL 95. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. The and best then, NHL game. Did you have Sonic? Yeah, and Sonic. Okay. That was the third okay. one I had. <sighs> you pass. But Here's the thing, though. I, I have a question for you guys. What is the Mario Brothers names like? First of all, it's the pronounced surname? Mario. Ma okay, that's another thing. We can <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. Time out. Mario. That's how she Mario. says it. I, everyone from I, I've noticed a lot of people from some northern states will go Mario. 
I think it's just like a yeah. It's, it's like Mario. Jackie's not from a northern state. She's from the northern part of a state. No, that's not true. I know nothing about you. You really don't. First of all, New Jersey is technically in the north. <laughs> Above the Mason Dixon. So true. yes, it is a northern state. True. Um, but so you go Mario. Just, yeah, Mario. It's okay, Mario. Mario, Mario. However, but it's the Mario Brothers. But like, like, what are their like full names? The only one I care about is Wario, so this game is stupid. Like the cousin? <laughs> yeah, the, the ugly cousin. Yeah, that's a good point. So if Luigi is Luigi and, and Mario is Mario. Mario is Mario, is Mario 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 and Luigi Luigi Mario? See, that's 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 the question I had. Is so you like, think Mar- Mario is their last name? Yeah. I, why? My goal is good. Why can't it just be Jackie brother? Can correctly by the end of this segment. <laughs> can, why can't it just be Mario <laughs> brother and Luigi like, brother? Why would they be like the Mario brothers? Because then it's just like <laughs> Luigi brother. I no, understand. Like, like it doesn't. Yeah. yeah. They are the Super Mario brothers, though. At least still, I have. So, I, I do have like a semi answer for it. Uh, it's Mario on, Super Mario. It's on NintendoEverything.com. I don't know if I that's like that. fake news or not, but <laughs> that's where I'm getting this. I mean, back. a whole podcast is fake news. So. <laughs> yeah. From 2015 in September, but apparently during Japan's 30th anniversary of the Super Mario Brothers, um, Shigeru Miyamoto, I, I'm totally probably butchering his name, but I think he's the guy who did the you know Super Mario Brothers. He stated that Mario's full name is Mario Mario. <gasps> And wow. as for Heard Luigi, it here first. What? Heard it here first. Breaking news. Breaking news. And as for Luigi, he's Luigi Mario. <sighs> That's so unfortunate for Luigi. Like, why can't he have a cool name? He just has two first names. I mean, he's always in behind Mario. <sighs> yeah, Lu- Luigi Mario. So then is Waluigi part of that family or are they cousins or what about Wario? See, I'm, I don't know. It doesn't say, but I'm going to go with because like Luigi and Mario kind of look the same, just like different colors, but everyone else kind of looks different than them, but they have like the hat. Yeah. I'm going cousins because like, like okay, Mario but cousins can still have the la- same last name. True. Okay. True. Very true. Or like distant relatives. Cause like, like Wario is like, well, no, yes, he's kind of, <laughs> No, he so just what, looks, he doesn't look like Steven Mario. Luigi, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help you out here and I'm going to say exactly what you're thinking. So what I think is that <laughs> Waluigi and Wario are the dark iterations of Mario and Luigi and have no family ties whatsoever, but they were products of King Bowser <laughs> in an, an effort to uh, bring down the Mario Jackie brothers. Um, and that's that's what we're dealing with. We're dealing with some dark uh, Koopa magic. I don't know. That could like, yeah. I don't know. Do I'm you think sh- Peach is their mom? No. The, no, they bang <laughs> Peach. Yeah. No. The Eiffel Tower. That's <laughs> disgusting. I don't know about that. <laughs> but like, if Mario gets Peach at the end, does she become Peach Mario? <laughs> this conversation has gone off the. What rail. is Peach's last name? <laughs> Peach Beach. Uh, <laughs> what, what, have, we, have we learned so nothing? No, Peach is her surname. Her first Honestly, name. Peach is no, annoying. Like Princess stop Diana. talking about Peach. Okay. Princess She's Peach. always getting herself into trouble. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Here's a, so there's another article on NintendoEverything.com. It's just a 25 things you might not know about Mario. Enlighten us. And this one is kind of funny, but like Mario has apparently appeared alongside his younger self, <laughs> baby Mario, <laughs> in, in no less than seven games, but only once did it actually make sense. <laughs> Apparently, so like it was him as an older person, like him, and then he had like him as a little like his. his Did he carry self. him around? And like, what are those like sidecars when you drive like a motorcycle? A sidecar. Just, yeah, oh, sidecar. okay, cool. I just imagine you know, put his baby in there. That's what the drink is named. <laughs> Wait, no. So is so that, that make him Mario Mario Junior? No, but baby Mario is an iteration of Mario in a different time. Is that what you're getting yeah, at? Yeah, him when he's so a baby. So kind of like, okay. kind of like in Game of Thrones, where Brandon Stark is every version of Brandon Stark. Oh, don't but, go down this road. <laughs> but none of them at the same time. Spoiler <laughs> alert. Well, not really a spoiler. It's and how Arya Stark is no one. No one and nothing at the same time. <laughs> Again, how do we get here? <laughs> it's one of those things that's it's just it could go on for a spiral. No, but back to back to Mario Party. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that was the best. I thought so, we got a flat earth theory at that point. Almost. <laughs> well, uh, well, we can get into p- paper Mario. Oh, that is flat earth Mario. Flat, yeah. And what? technically M- Mario. What's paper Mar- Mario? Paper Mario Ooh. for N64 was a, it was a hybrid side scroller RPG that came out for 
N64. You just said a lot of words. I have no idea what you're talking about. RPG stands for role playing game. Side scroller is the two dimensional left and right and up and down. Mm -hmm. So you don't, you're not navigating a 3d world. So after Mario 64 came out, they couldn't really do another three dimensional because it was kind of just be the same game, more of the same. So they did paper Mario as another iteration of it sounds really boring. No, Paper Mario no, it was cool. Eh, if you're in RPGs, like in collecting, well, like kind of that was Zelda too. Like they came out with that next like Zelda one. Uh, what was it like the Wind Waker? And it was kind of flat paperish. So that's cell shading. So uh, that's yeah, yeah, different. Yeah. So that's a different cell shading. Is we've hit on Jake's expertise. Hey, <laughs> tell I'm just, us. No, I'm just. I'm saying. just. I'm just scared. My brother Josh is gonna, who's a friend of the pod, is gonna send in a bunch of corrections on this. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> so he's you like, guys couldn't be more wrong. What I but what I would ask is the listeners send us in your favorite N64 games. Yeah, please. And if you say it's golden eye, you're done. Whoa. <laughs> it's Super Smash Brothers. End of story. The oh, end. It's Yoshi. <laughs> favorite, favorite game. Favorite game. Real quick. And then we'll Mario Party was else. my favorite. Mario Party? Yeah. Oh, Ocarina of Time. Probably. Yeah. It's the NHL game. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think I like Mario Kart. I think yeah. I, I got better at it as life went on. What about Birio Kart? Beer your cart is that mm-hmm. where you have to chug a beer before the end before of the race? Before the end of the race. Yeah. It's Ooh. really, really hard. You would call it drunk driving. Yeah, that was that's with the Wii. True. That, that's true. Because then oh, you would actually oh, like drive with the, the controller. The steering wheel. Yeah, no, beer your cart was just like regular. That was really tough. But you couldn't drive, drink and drive at the same time. Speaking of drinking and driving. Which is a felony. And yeah. we are a non-supporting Not drinking and driving that. podcast. No, do not do that. So what you should do is take an Uber or a Lyft. Mm-hmm. That is smart. Right? Because then you won't be drunk driving. I mean, it's the single one of the most important inventions of our generation because it allowed us to buy ourselves out of any precarious situation we might (laughs) find ourselves in. Yeah. How often would you say what's your percentage of Uber Lyft or other car sharing products? What percentage of it are you drunk in the in the vehicle? Like oh, you're getting, like you are getting in like hundred percent, a hundred. So I'm, every time you take an Uber or Lyft, you're guaranteed, guaranteed drunk, pretty much, because I can usually ride my bike anywhere if I'm going to be sober or, yeah, ride my bike. Well, you're either going to or coming from a drinking. Event. Oh, definitely. Yeah, I don't use Uber for like normal transit. Only I use Uber way too much. I mean, I've, I've taken it to work Lyft a couple times, like and it was a terrible. Yeah, I, I I made the switch to Lyft. I deleted the yeah. other. App. I haven't had to do it yet because I haven't taken any like ride sharing or you know like Uber or Lyft in a long time. But I think I'm gonna switch to Lyft as well, just because like you know, if you're if you're if, if it you're matters gonna, yeah, how you it, get there. It, it does matter how you get there. Although one time <laughs> with a Lyft driver, <laughs> I, I was in the we were in a Lyft, and he offered us open candy like out of a little nope. dish like, Absolutely like not. it was um starburst and he was just like hey you guys want some starburst and they were just out and i was like no so, so he, like so he unpackaged saliva. them and put them in a in a jar yeah like they were they were un- they were like inside like this thing that you had to lift up and they were just chilling there on package that's like, so right they starburst minis because those are the only ones that come unpackaged i don't know i, I don't know I if he unpackaged them or if they sh- should have been in a package and they weren't. I didn't take them, but that was like, that's the weirdest thing that's ever happened to me. It was just, it was just odd. What's everybody's weirdest Lyft Uber experience. Um, I, I've just had some really bad driving experiences. I try to take Lyft like line or Uber pool as much as I can, because if I'm taking a, a car, it's usually that I don't have much to do later. Um, so I try to take those, but those are always ridiculous experiences where you get like one person who's super hammered and like the whole car is just really sober and you're just like, <laughs> and the, like the Lyft driver's like, oh my God, this person, I wish that I didn't pick them up. But this girl, we, we were driving, I was somewhere in Virginia coming home and and this girl got in our car and she just wouldn't shut up. And the, the Uber driver was just like minding her business is like following the directions and just in her little zone. And she just kept asking her question after question about like driving Uber. And this woman was just like, so not in the mood to talk. And finally we got to her apartment building and she would not get out of the car. And we, she just kept asking more questions of both of us. And we were like, you're home now, please go, please get out of the car. And so she was like, thank you so much. You guys, this was such a great ride. I really enjoyed all of your company. Blah. 
blah, 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 blah. Look out for my Christmas card. Hashtag overshare. Yeah. And yeah. then she gets out of the car and as soon as the door closed, the Uber driver turned around to me and she goes, oh my God. And I was like, <laughs> thank you so much for understanding. I, I thought I was only one. And this woman, then the whole time she could not let it go. She just, we would drive in silence for like five seconds. And then she'd be like, that girl was so annoying. And I'm like, yeah, Stage I five know. clinger. Yeah. So Uber pools, I usually have a pretty interesting experience with. We're never on the same level unless it's like early, early morning and no one wants to talk. Yeah. I usually, I, I always make that, that weighing in my head or like, okay, it's going to cost me $8 to get there straight shot, or it's going to cost me $4 for a lift line. And I'm like, how much is that 40 extra minutes worth? It's usually worth the $4. Yeah. 10 times out of 10. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so my worst experience in a ride share was definite. No, there's two, two bad ones. So one was coming home from the bars and we got pulled over by a cop and I'm pretty sure our driver was intoxicated, pulled Ooh. over, realized that he was a, a ride share and he was like, all right, well, you just don't, you can't cut off a bus cause he cut off a bus and he's like, buses have the right of way. Yeah. He didn't so, like ask like, like you thought he might have been intoxicated. Yeah, but I wasn't going to say that. Sit. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm no, I know all the way in the bag. I'm just a low battery mode, not functioning. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just surprised that the like if you kind of realize that you know low functioning. Yeah, I'm surprised like the the cop wasn't like. Mm. So maybe he wasn't. You know, sometimes people just are playing are, the cool are different, and um, that's okay. The second time was just complete neglect. I was on my way to Union Station. Um, we were taking a train from D.C. to Baltimore, and just didn't see a red light and almost hit two pedestrians yeah. and it was horrifying. Um, so I immediately asked him to stop and I, you know, jogged the rest of the way yeah. to, to the stop. Cause that was, yeah, that was tough. I've yeah. been in two lifts. I've gotten in accidents. None of I've been that bad, but like, contact car and car and they've both been the driver's fault yeah. and I just got out of the car and just continued walking on my way and requested my money back but that's now, really scary do you guys like go in the app and like report them oh, oh like, absolutely oh, I called them and I was like hi this person is a terrible driver and he probably shouldn't be working oh, you even you. called them yeah oh, yeah wow. it was well I think it's important because you it's it's not it's not just the safety for you or not yeah. just getting your nine dollars back shoot keep the nine bucks but just take this person off the road I mean you put a lot of trust in like in, in, in that People. driver yeah exactly <laughs> like this is yeah. like one of the most like probably for me, it was like the first like truly intimate experience with a complete stranger Yeah, where it's not just like you're on a bus next to someone sitting down. It's like this person is driving me like they could just like start going anywhere and you know, and you're stuck in the back of a car. Anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. It's so, so it, true. Like that was kind of for me, that was like the hardest part was just like, okay, got to just blindly trust the driver. You know, you're in the app, you're going where you need to go. And so for me, like most of the time it's been pretty good. I just don't like the chattiness sometimes because like, I'm pretty quiet. I just want to sit in the back seat and just like get to where I'm going. Mm-hmm. And then you always, I always get the guys or, or the girl. that's just like, so yeah, how's the day going? It's like, great. <laughs> so oh yeah. What, the weather's in the end. It's like constant. Well, what's your move when you're in a pool and you've, you got two other people in the car. Do you talk to them? Do you? Oh no, I'm headphones in. Absolutely oh yeah. Not. No, none of you. No new to friends, people? Joey. Come on. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, unless it's new <laughs> listeners, we want you. It's, yeah, it's, it's more. It's more of like not that like like I'll talk to them if something happens, but like they're usually in the same mode. Just like where it's like the headphones. It's like the new headphone in mode. You know, you got the headphones in. Yeah, you don't talk to out. Me. Yeah, I don't know, guys. I've had some pretty good experiences talking to people in the back of Uber pools. Oh, really, Joey? Tell us more. Uh, I did get a date out of an Uber pool once. Oh my god, which was my favorite. Oh experience. My god. That is the move. Insert the move. eye roll here. That is the. <laughs> Move. Do you like slowly put your arm around her in the back seat, just kind of creeping over? Like, I'm sorry, it's just a little tight back here. You need oh a little more space. Oh my god! No, I in true, uh, you know, weirdo fashion because I'm awkward. I got out of the car, like I'd been talking to this girl. Like we were talking, and she's like, "Oh, I live right down the street." And I was like, "Oh, cool, bye." And then I got out and shut the door, and I was like, "Wait, I should ask for her number." And so, like, she had told me the address of her house. So I went down and put like a sticky note on her door. And I was like, hey, dude, I, I'm, not, I'm not doing the Uber pool. I thought ah, for sure. I thought for sure. Birds. I thought for sure you were going to say <laughs> I went down to her house and waited for her to come back. No, that would <laughs> like be creepy. Creeper stalker. That's okay. So that I'm, was cute. I'm hooked. What, what happened? So she eventually got back to me and she's like, yeah, let's go on a date. So we went on a date. Uh, we went and got coffee and uh, that was kind of the end of it. But like. I had, a, I got a date out of an Uber pool. Joey coffees for closers. <laughs> <laughs>
That's like, I don't know. That's actually a pretty good. No, that's like, awesome. You've actually followed up. Like, you know, you, you felt that connection. I mean, that's like, that's the, that's the place to do it. Cause like she can't go anywhere. You can't go anywhere. Okay, so. that now you're sounding creepy. No, I mean like, I mean like if you're going to meet She's someone. locked in. So you may as well go <laughs> for it. Well, <laughs> because of the implication. <laughs> oh my God. Way to what, feed to the patriarchy there, Steven. One time, <laughs> one time after new year's, Everyone, you know, after after major holidays or like late nights out, everyone's trying yeah, to get. Yeah, what's the surge? Like a thousand yeah. percent. But every because everyone's trying to get that Uber or Lyft, right? So like the everyone's outside looking for their Uber. So on a New Year's Eve one night, I was pr- I was pretty drunk, and I went out. And I was looking for our li- our uh, Uber, and people were coming up and just trying to get in other people's Uber. So I was like, no, I'm not having this. So I started directing Uber. I took it upon myself <laughs> to be, I was like the valet of Ubers outside of this bar. And so an Uber would pull up and like, who are you looking for? And they're like, I'm, a, I'm looking for Sarah. And so I would turn around. So I would open the back door. What and a coordinator. Like, Sarah, your Uber's right here. <laughs> like, Did you get if, tipped? No, but if Sarah didn't come up, I'd be like, I'd get a little letter. Sarah, this is your Uber. Like we all have places to go. People to do see, you know, you got your shit to go home, Sarah. Sarah, you're drunk. So I did this for like a while and then I'm pretty sure like a few people were upset when our Uber got there and I was like, all right, see ya. So wait, no, I was, I was else, benefiting from the right, service. Sarah, you tap in. You sucked earlier so you have to pull, you have to <laughs> yeah. pull your weight. Uh, <laughs> dude, was, you know, I feel that, that pain though, like the Uber confusion because on my bachelor party, we definitely got into a vehicle, all five of us, that was not a new one. Oh, been there. I was going to tell this story. <laughs> been there. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, talk about being in the bag. Uh, <laughs> Joey was there. It was, was Joey there. and some, some of our friends from, from Delaware, and uh, we all hopped into this SUV, Like, and this guy's like, what the hell are you doing in my vehicle? We're like, oh, you're not our Uber driver? <laughs> yeah. Okay, here's your the thing, though. Your fault for having did your doors have, unlocked, on, sir. One question. <laughs> did, he have, did he have an Uber-looking car? Because there's our black, black SUV. Okay. Yeah. Okay, but how he how did he allow five men that was the best to get part. into his car before he said get out? That's true. It was on U Street, so it was you know U Street's a popular uh, night. Does area. it matter? Who's was like, he who's expecting driving? five men? Yeah, and who's driving with their car doors unlocked? I locked that as soon as I start moving. I'm like, that's car door what locked. I said. Yeah, Here's yeah, that's his, that was his fault. This is his fault. This is 100. This is not our fault. This is not our fault. It's still so funny to see. I <laughs> just get it. And you just sitting there like, oh what? My God. I would drive you. It like didn't register to him at first too, and it was like two o'clock in the morning. He was probably like it, in shock. Like I'm gonna get. Like, I would totally drive you so wherever you wanted to go. Yeah, I was just gonna say exact same thing. I would have driven you wherever you wanted, and then charged you for. It. <laughs> yeah, like one hundred dollars. What were you gonna pay the <laughs> other Uber? Okay, I'll take double that, and I'll drive you wherever you want. And I won't want. call the police. And we can stop at McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> I did that leaving Preakness one time. We could not get out of there. I don't know if any of you have been to Preakness before, yeah, but it is bougie. Absolute yeah. no. It's the it's, opposite it's of the bougie. Absolute is opposite of bougie. So you can be bougie. You can get your seats in the stands and wear your big hats and your heels and your suits. That's all I know. Or you can pay eighty dollars for all you can drink. Beer and slum it in the muddy infield and never watch a horse race anything and run across the tops of the porta potties yeah. while people pelt beer cans. Yeah, at you. it's honestly <laughs> one of the best times I've ever had. However, leaving there was a disaster because everybody's trying to leave at the same time and you there's like one exit and you're on a main road in Baltimore. And so getting a lift is impossible. I mean, it's been a couple of years, so maybe they've made this better, but we were stuck. So we had six of us and we were just like sticking people in cars and being like, drive them to Penn station. Just get just <laughs> where just Penn station. And there's sort of like Baltimore residents are just going about their day. And so it was finally me and a friend left and he like waved down this car and he was like, how much, to go to Penn Station and the gr- it was this S- black SUV filled with like five of the sassiest women I've ever met in my life. I loved them so much and she was like a hundred bucks and he had just won on the last race like two hundred bucks. He was like fine and like toss a hundred dollars on the car <laughs> and we get in and they they were like make yourself a drink. We have pineapple juice and Grey Goose on the floor oh and we obviously God. had our all you can drink mug so we yes. were pretty set. Um, did not need another beverage but had my little cocktail on my way to Penn station and we missed the train by one minute, but those people saved our entire lives. Otherwise I would have still been standing on the side of the road. 
I, there was no way to get out. Dude, Preakness is wild. Preakness is wild, but car sharing is great, it. and other people should do that for pedestrians. So that guy should have driven you home. Yeah, no, seriously, we were in no condition to probably even be in an Uber. So he definitely should have just taken us home immediately because we're wandering in the middle. It wasn't even like the guy was <laughs> like in the side lane. He was in the middle <laughs> lane, in the middle of the street. We just so Beauregard. Can you imagine being SUV. a pedestrian on the side to seeing like like five guys get in a car and then I, immediately get out? I would <laughs> I would immediately like pull my phone out and like pre dial nine one one like <laughs> like you know like if you see a situation that you think might be going south <laughs> and you're like I'm gonna be a really good Samaritan yeah. and I'm a pre dial yeah so that way like when it actually like something goes down I'm not like freaking out and fidgeting with my like passcode like I can't get in I'm well, getting robbed I'm getting robbed let's I'm be honest robbed. if you are driving on U Street at two a m on a Friday night, you should pro and you're not an Uber driver. You and should probably, are unlocked. yeah, you should probably have nine one one on speed. Dial. Also like don't drive on U street ever. Yeah, ever. it's just a bad idea. Yeah, <laughs> for those of you listening, U street is a crazy busy street in DC where it's just bar, 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 yeah. bar, drunk person, drunk person, drunk person. So you yeah. all have them in your states wherever yeah. you're listening from or whatever country you're listening from. Yeah, you, you got them. Don't yeah. want to find yourself sober there at 2 a.m. on a Saturday. <laughs> you're not going to make it you out will alive. Have a bad time. Because <laughs> you're also the only one that's sober. <laughs> yeah, seriously. All right, so to wrap this ride share up, I want to share quickly my experience as an Uber driver. Ooh, oh, you Uber? All right. I did. I did not know that about For you. one day. One whole day. Three trips. Okay. Did you do it just for the sticker? I did it. No, I, I didn't even. I got. I still get text messages about your boost this week. It, I need to unsubscribe. But how? What was the furthest trip you took? So the first trip I took was fifty-five minutes, and I was going about one point five miles from downtown to like um, Petworth. So. Not Wait, not well, too f- a decent amount, but it wasn't. So it was you're going like closer. eight, eight to ten miles, maybe. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't no that that's like six four. to seven miles. It was like two miles, but oh, like forty five minutes going north. Yeah, DC traffic is absolutely know. terrible. But you don't get paid for the time; you get paid for the mileage. Mm. So I got paid like eight bucks for forty five minutes yeah. worth of work. Yeah. So that, and then the the ladies that got in, it was my first time ever. So you know, I let them know I was in the jeep. Like, hey, Hi, it's my you first guys are my, These guys are my first. And they're like, ooh, that's oh. fun. He's <laughs> like, oh, mm. U- Uber driver. Oh, you have a Jeep and you don't have a stick? Oh, well, I guess an Uber driver is good to have an automatic transmission. I was like, yeah, it's funny how quickly we just throw the stigma on the person <laughs> yeah. in the Uber. I'm like, yeah, you know, I... Yeah, I'm the I'm an Uber driver now. I guess yeah. <laughs> my first time. You're providing a service, so One people ride. feel like they need to criticize you. Yeah, immediately. <laughs> yeah, which is insane because yeah. I'm the person helping you. Yeah, right now. So we all so. PSA, be <laughs> kind to, to the people who provide you service. Tip, and for those of you who don't know what tip means, <laughs> it means writing math in the section that says tip. Correct. <laughs> and then leaving like triple what the bill was. Absolutely. <laughs> 50 per 60%. <laughs> but tips means to ensure prompt service. Ooh. So whoa. we used to tip prior to servers being given. Yeah, when you gave like the the bag dude a little extra five like, hey, when dude. you got to the hotel, like, hey. That still happens in do, Jersey. You gotta fold up a fifty dollar bill, put Can't it in your get hand, anything done. Shake the guy's hand, look at his eye and say fifty bucks. Dude, if you need to get it what? done, go get it done. The guy it depends on the done. service. <laughs> you want open bar all night? You got it. <laughs> He, he meant to give a five, but it was a 50. <laughs> <laughs> was yeah, I, don't, I don't know what I'm doing with a $50. Bill. <laughs> Wait, but th- so how were the other two riders? Okay. So the first two were very talkative. Um, young girls coming from a CVS. Uh, they told me all about their SoundCloud DJ boyfriends. That's amazing. And how they perform at a club that the VR at flash. And I was like, Oh, I know some people at flash. And they're like, oh, well, you don't know DJ so-and-so. And And I was like, I don't. (laughs) I'll never know that person. Ever. But um, so that was fun. The second ride that I picked up was very silent. Didn't need to talk. Just drove her from A to B. And then the third ride, she uh, was needed help. So she was kind of on the phone the whole time and just having a very long conversation with her mother or girlfriend or cousin about her current dating situation. And I was like, this girl doesn't even know me, (laughs) but she's treating me like I'm not here because I'm providing a service and just spilling her guts on imagine the stories, Uh, Uber drivers, taxi drivers, but like talking about fellatio, 
talking about how she is attracted or unattracted to the current guys she's dating. Just like really explicit conversation. And I'm like, cool. Yeah. Is this, is this, is this where you live? Like, what do you want me yeah. to drop you off? Is the air conditioning okay? But it's amazing. It's Turn amazing how people bit. will just drop their mm-hmm. guard. We're comfortable with it these days. Yeah, it's wild. Yeah. yeah, that's my experience. My three trips never did again. I made like twenty two dollars, and I think I spent that much on gas. Mm-hmm. And my three hours of my time it was too. It was too much. But you have the memories <laughs> for you can say you did it, which none of us at this table yeah. can do it for. I don't think I ever would. No, not I'd be that. too scared. I I would just be too scared that someone would just murder me. <laughs> I listen yeah. to way too many you murder have a very podcasts. Murderable face. <laughs> yeah, this, be scared of Jackie. So messed up. <laughs> 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 That's so messed up. Whatever. All right, moving on. If yeah. had, <laughs> listeners out there, if you've had any incredible or not incredible stories, we don't care. We'll hear all of them. Send us in, you know, Uber, Uber Lyft stories. Let us know. Yeah, hop in those DMs, please. <laughs> you guys want to get into Google what? Absolutely. Let's slide Google into Google what? what? Slide in into the Googles. All right. Should what you I guys go? Google this you week? Wanna... All right, I'll go first. Start it, Jackie. So my friends from home were here. Um, we had a riveting conversation. Uh, my, my friend Dave posed it, posed the question is what is the plural for cul-de-sac? Cul-de-sac? Cul-de-sacs. I'm going to go with cul-de-sac. And so cul-de-sac being a road that ends in like a, one of those like dead end circle things. Yeah, that's, that's what I grew up on. Like a cul-de-sac street. is a cul-de-sac. Yeah. They cul-de-sac. live on, oh, on some the cul-de-sac. Don't know cul-de-sac. Or is it culls de sac? Ooh, okay. like multiple culls in de sac. So of the sac. Joey's Ooh. actually correct. Ooh. Whoa. It's High five. Culls de sac. However, Cold de sacs works as well. Cold sacs? Cold de sacs. Oh. But then I was like, well, where the hell does this word come from? It sounds so weird. And I said it so many times in a row. Um, but cold de sac, cold de sac, cold de sac. It's, it's French and it originally meant bottom of the sack. <laughs> so <laughs> um, all those French classes paying off. And then, yeah. So then we Englishmen decided to use it as the term for the end of your neighborhood. So block. actually, really. <laughs> People who live in cul-de-sacs usually love it because like not many cars go down there or like yeah. if you're a kid like me and play street hockey, like oh, you don't got to worry about it. Hockey. Yeah. Pre- but like pre- in the reality, you're at the bottom of the sack. <laughs> you're like, literally at the bottom <laughs> of the no one sack. Wants to be at the bottom of the sack. I guess. And also uh. here was my question that I posed. I was like, we went through this for 10 to 20 minutes talking about what the plural was. And I was like, why the hell would anybody need to be talking about two cul-de-sacs? Yeah, why would you have more like than the, one? What sentence would you be like? It's down both of those. Oh, uh, that must be a rich neighborhood if they have two cul-de-sacs at the end. Well, if it's two cul-de-sacs, it would split though, wouldn't it? <laughs> wouldn't, right. wouldn't one so have to exactly. be like a warm it, sack for like top of the sack? No. Yeah. Oh God. No. <laughs> There's just the like left cul-de-sac and the right cul-de-sac. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, someone mentioned like it's like oh the f- road forks into two cul-de-sac, and I'm well, like, there's two culs in your sack. <laughs> if, it's, if it's if it's two cul-de-sac, it would be like cul-de-sac. Well, you, menorah, should, you should warm it up if it's too cold. <laughs> yeah, you know, warm the sack. <laughs> anyway, that was my Google what. <laughs> That's amazing. Well, that would be a reference there for you. Oh yeah. my God. What'd you get, Joey? Uh, so I was had an interesting discussion with my um, my barber. Um, she was talking about um, Sammy Sosa. Your barbress. Is it barbress? What is, <laughs> no what is the female version of barber? Barbara? No. It might, just be a st- it might just be a standard barber barber. Like, barber barber? Yeah. I think it's, I think it's uh, yeah. Unless her name is Barbara. And Princess then, Barbara? And she's Barbara. Barbara? Barbara. <laughs> Princess Barbara? Um, no. So she was talking. She's like, have you seen Sammy Sosa lately? And I was like, that's a weird question. But I was like, no. Um, she's like, yeah, he like lightened his skin and all this. Like, and I'm like, what? She starts showing me these pictures of Sammy Sosa and he's gone full Michael Jackson. Really? And, and so has apparently Lil Kim. And I was like, I've not heard of Lil Kim. Actually, I think I did know that. So, so this Google what is brought to you by my barber, not me. I didn't do go- the Googling, but you were around. I was around. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Right. Oh my Look at goodness. That, that is Everyone we'll, should we'll, Google we'll link Sammy to a picture. Sosa. Yeah, yeah. Google, so we'll put this in do the show your own notes. Google what and do and Google Sammy Sosa because that is like, yeah. I wouldn't even know. I, I mean, I, I don't really that don't know dude, Sammy like, Sosa. He had like the home run record, right? Yeah, I mean, but like, I can't really remember what he looked like now before. Wait, <laughs> oh, yeah. I'd miss Lil Kim. He's got too much time on his hands. Uh, that is upsetting. crazy. Yeah. All right. Well, that's a weird one. I wonder like, yeah, I mean, that's as Google. I mean, I would have gone down a Google spiral too, just be like, 
uh, like how does that happen? Number one, like how did like how does that work? I I don't know. I didn't I didn't really have any questions. I was just like, oh, that's a that's a thing. Interesting. Yeah. Cool. Wow. That is that that is interesting. Go. Yeah. So that was my Google. What did um, you do? So I googled the National Park Service because, like, I follow a lot of like. You love the park. Yeah, you honestly. Every time you Google stuff, it's like we're learning. It's close to being an obsession. <laughs> I googled I cul-de-sacs. <laughs> <laughs> well, I follow. So I follow a lot of like people on Instagram who like take photos of national parks. That's but, like I really don't know anything about our national parks. So that's what I googled, and I went down just like a big Google spiral of national parks and like when they were created 1916 in case anyone cares and like all the different little facts about them that like are just kind of like odd. Like there's a lot of history in like national parks. So one thing that I thought was like really interesting is that like we actually have a national park that's 95% underwater. So like, Which like one? it's the Biscayne National Park in Florida, Atlantis, and it has a bunch of like coral reefs. So that's why it's and like manatees. a national park. Yeah, I bet there's some manatees in there. But like 95, percent but it's like a, like when I think of parks, I always think of like a park. You know, like a, a you can visit it, you grass. walk it, you hike it, grass, mountains, stuff soccer like that. bowl. So I thought that was really crazy <laughs> that like like we have a national park that's 95 percent underwater. Yeah. Right. Did you find that someone told me that they were increasing the price of the national parks they recently? Are it's going up because they need the money. <laughs> and I think like, that's probably like, you know, budgeting, you got to raise it up. I don't know which ones it's going to be for probably like the most, like the, the, the biggest ones, grand Canyon. Um, yeah, they were like, it's going to be like 85 bucks a person to get into the grand Canyon now. Yeah. That's, that's insane. $5. Yeah. yeah. It's 40 or something right now. You're paying 70. For the- oh, 70? Fact check, oh, yeah. 70. Fact check 70. Still, still considerable yeah. amount of money. You're also, paying for the experience. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Also, I always get alligators and crocodiles confused. I don't know. Like I can never remember which is which, but there's actually a, the Everglades National Park has both. Like you don't have to worry about one. You have to worry about both of them, yeah, which is insane. Did you find out what the difference was? I, I still don't I can know. help you. No. You do know. So okay. crocodiles only live on the land. They don't go in the water at all. They that may not be true. I think they might. <laughs> like take a bath <laughs> in like mud puddles, but alligators <laughs> alligators live in the water and on land. So, so when you said I can help you earlier, you mean I could spew some garbage and then hopefully this all will I know work is like, I can, I can riff on sure this question true. real What's quick. Like, was it, I thought it was like tortoise and turtle. Oh, Ethan, that's what I'm thinking. Oh yeah. my god, those are so different. They're I similar. Googled both I Googled Googled Either way, I'm scared of both alligators or crocodiles. So it doesn't matter which one it is. If it's coming out of the water and towards me, I'm going really fast the other way. One Google will be hunted the by the answer. crocodile Dundee and one will not. The, the <laughs> official answer is the snout shape. Uh, Alligators have a wider uh, U-shaped snout while crocodile front ends are more pointed and V-shaped. Yeah, that's exactly and what I said. Something about their teeth too. You. <laughs> it's very similar to the turtle thing. <laughs> you, you confuse innocent, beautiful little turtles. To turtles? What? Have you, snapping, snapping turtles? turtles? <laughs> <laughs> Those are scary too. Have you guys seen the videos online where, where like a dude will have a beer and the snapping oh. turtle? That's like animal abuse kind of, but yeah. And then he's like bites it and then he'll shotgun the beer. I don't like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you Google? All right. So <laughs> I had to Google what candor meant <laughs> because I had an idea, but I wanted to make sure that it was accurate. So I recently received an email thanking me for my candor. And when I Googled it, I realized that it meant truthfulness, mm-hmm. but it also said frank and bluntness too. So I think I was more like truthful in the, in the tone <laughs> of the email. So that was the response that I got. So it was a good thing. Like, Oh, thank you for your candor. It sounds positive. Like yeah. when someone says candor, it's like candor. Oh, it is a good it's word. Candorous. That's exactly yeah. how you yes. said that. Say yeah. it again like that. It's like, oh, it's candor. Nice. Yeah. Cause it's not like candor. No, yeah. well, thank you for your to have candor. Candor. radical candor. Kind of like it almost, it's nightly. You know, like yeah, like it, gallant. Yeah, so gallant. Oh it's a, it's a rich word. word. I call words? those rich words, like words Ooh, that kind rich. of like have like a velvet mm. kind of feel to them. Church, like Velveeta. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you might like that word for a whole nother reason. <laughs> if you just want to get your cheese on, I love on. mac and like, cheese. Like cold de sac. <laughs> no, oh, oh and pow- see power rank, now, power rank mac and cheese. Uh, uh, what? What? <laughs> power rank favorite, favorite mac and cheese, like lactose intolerant, like the kind that I make. Velveeta? No, or I don't homemade. make Velveeta. 
I mean, that's disgusting. And like homemade mac. Jackie goes out and buys like six different types of cheeses, shreds them on I, top. I, I don't like the I don't like the fancy stuff. Like, don't put those crumbs on there. I don't want that. Breadcrumbs? Uh, yeah, no breadcrumbs. We so I've had it with um, goldfish in it. I'll take that. Ooh, yeah. that's interesting. That's, yeah, that's very candorous. I actually had mac and cheese from the Cat Mac <laughs> food truck this weekend, and they crunched up Cheez Its in it. What? Yeah, I also enjoyed that. Dude, I had microwave Velveeta yesterday. Not bad. It's just held up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the other thing that I googled was uh, a synonym for pay cut, but yeah, that's just a whole different thing. <laughs> all right well that is all we have time for today don't forget to check us out on instagram at new pod who dis, on twitter at new pod underscore who dis, and on facebook at new pod who dis. and where else jackie on youtube at backslash new pod who dis. seriously yeah. we got some fire content coming for you guys so you know the next two oh to four God. months you're gonna see some real uh Real good videos starting to pop up on there, so stay tuned. <laughs> Maybe. Also, look for our t-shirt design poll this week yep look at the t-shirts let us know what you're thinking and maybe there'll be a chance for you to uh win one crack open a cold Lacroix and <laughs> wait for that shit to come out yeah man <laughs> oh my god <laughs> is that how we're gonna end this podcast <laughs> absolutely crack a cold Lacroix and wait for that shit to come out <laughs> oh. all right guys until next week have a good one bye see you later <laughs> peace <laughs> <laughs>